abortion or not. Right. So you seem to be suggesting that um, you know the phrase "different strokes for different folks" sounds all well and good, but in fact, when you have such maybe radically different ideas about uh, justice and, and life and, and truth, and you have to build a society or, or live and make laws, um, have neighbors, that it actually it can be an impediment and, and may actually not lead to toleration? Well, the, the, yeah, we got off the concept top, topic of toleration. Uh, the influence of moral relativism uh, is to say that, you know, uh, it's intolerant to, ha to make judgments at all. Right. You know, this is what uh, we find often said in my country, that um, someone being judgmental uh, is committing the primary moral fault. Right. You know, um, and real toleration means not discriminating at all against, any, uh, against rival views, accepting all views as, uh, as um, equally valid. But actually, toleration means the opposite of that. Toleration means accepting what you don't approve of. Accepting what you do disagree with, uh, and um, our tradition in, in in England of toleration, from which grew up in the 17th century, was a solution to radical conflict. Um, uh, it was p people learned to be tolerant precisely of the things that they really hated. Uh, not, learning not to hate them means not tolerating at all because there's nothing to tolerate. Right. Uh, and this is a very important uh, a virtue in this case, to uh, toleration, but it depends upon having objective moral values. Right. So in that sense, uh, toleration, the way we might understand it today, is actually quite a bit different than maybe the Christian concept of brotherly love or, or the golden rule. Yes, and I, uh, I mean, the, the Christian concept of, of brotherly love uh, means um, loving the sinner and hating the sin, right. uh, and I mean that's a very different conception uh, um, from the the modern version, which is more like uh, loving the sin and not regarding it as one. Right. 